This is Witchbase News for Friday the 1st of September 2023. I'm Commander Burr. In an Elite Dangerous News special this week there's an important conversation leaked from Aegis Humans are being harvested by Thargoids for a very specific purpose. We now know where and how the missing millions are being held and more. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. And if you'd like to help directly support the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything else are below. As the regular Thargs Day server tick rolled around yesterday bringing with it the results of the weeks gains and losses in the Thargoid war one other very significant nugget was released to every single commander in the live game that you might not have noticed. At this point I have to thank Commander Blake Sagittarius for the heads up on the messages appearance. Without them we ourselves here at the Burr Pit wouldn't have seen the messages arrival. Look in your in game mailbox and you'll find 3 new messages. Depending on how busy your mailbox is you may have to scroll down a fair bit to find them. The messages are a transcript and fully voiced acted recording of a conversation between Professor Alba Tezro and Aidan Tanner of the formerly disgraced and now forgiven and reformed Aegis Xeno Research and Defence Agency. And through the course of the conversation and what transpires in the middle of it we're given some serious hints and indeed almost told specifically some major plot points and perhaps what to expect in the near future. In the opening stages of the conversation that is clearly taking place over distance Tanner and Tezro are discussing the phenomena of what's being called the missing. The millions of humans that have disappeared and are unaccounted for as a result of the Thargoid invasion of the bubble. The pair reveal that when comparing the population of a given star system that has been invaded with the amount of refugees, known combat casualties and allowing for several other factors and a margin for error there are still in their words tens if not hundreds of millions of human souls missing and unaccounted for. Given the Thargoids previously observed propensity for stealing human occupied escape pods whenever possible going back years and then most recently the introduction of the scythe hunter vessels that are very deliberately targeting and interdicting passenger and escape pod carrying vessels specifically with the intention of stealing away those very same passengers and escape pods it's not hard to conclude where the missing have gone. What, initially at least, perturbs the pair is how much to tell the public about what they now know is going on and just what the Thargoids want with so many living humans. They postulate the idea that, in order to keep and sustain living human specimens, the Thargoids would need some sort of storage container that would be able to maintain an environment suitable for a human to exist in. They quickly dismiss the idea that the Thargoids might want us for research purposes as they've had plenty of opportunity for that prior to the war. They also agree that the Thargoid race as a species is unlikely to be interested in keeping prisoners of war. It's at this point that the comms link the pair are using is interrupted and hacked into by none other than the artist formerly known as D2, Sojin A. Miss Sojin A is the former unwilling test subject of the Azimuth Corporation. In short they tried to physically merge her with a living Thargoid vessel. She survived, escaped their moustache twirling clutches and, after making contact with Aegis, decided to go it alone. She has proven in the past to have a significant technological skill set hence the hack and very importantly for this next part she has the ability to on some level at least hear, understand or interpret Thargoid communications. And it's this ability to, as she puts it, hear the melody in their song that delivers us the most vital information in yesterdays messages. Tanner poses that we may be food or fuel to the Thargoids and Tezro counters that there is no evidence to suggest that the Thargoids view us as an edible commodity any more than we do them. 
So Jin A then states specifically that they definitely do not view us as fuel or food but that they do have a use for us. She continues that when the maelstroms first arrived in the bubble the noise coming from the Thargoids was all about drawing their fleets together and then capturing as much territory as possible but thereafter the noise that D2 is able to hear from the Thargoids changed. Sojin A now says that she is seeing images of tunnels or caves and in those tunnels are rows and rows of what she first thought to be eggs and Albertezro mentions that it would make sense that the Thargoids would need a method to replenish their numbers in an ongoing war situation. It's here however that Sojin A drops her first bombshell. What she thought were eggs are not in fact eggs at all but pods housing the captured humans and what's more the pods are being held inside the Thargoid Titan motherships and they are important to the Thargoids for the next phase of the invasion. As the conversation begins to wrap up Aiden Tanner tasks Alba Tezro with finding a way to recover the pods from inside the Titans noting that any mission to do so will require pilots to fly dangerously close to a Titan. There's a lot in the conversation so I'm going to break down next the key points that the logs have revealed and there are certain words and phrases used in the logs that are really important. I'll also give you my thoughts on where I think FDev might be going with this and what the consequences are for gameplay. So firstly then the Thargoids will be using some kind of pod to house and I assume sustain living human subjects. It seems likely we're going to be recovering these pods but I'll come back to that in a moment. The laser lilies aren't interested in research, they don't take prisoners and they're not interested in us as food or fuel. So what do they want us for? At first believing the pods that D2 describes to be eggs it's Alba Tezro that mentions the Thargoids obvious need to replenish their numbers in the current war. D2 then clarifies that the eggs are in fact pods containing captured humans but with that established the necessity for the Thargoids to replenish their forces doesn't go away. D2 also states that the captured humans are important to the Thargoids for the next phase of the invasion so not for what we're seeing at the moment but whatever comes next. Are the Thargoids using humans to control their ships then and it's these CPUs for their vessels that need replenishment. Over the years a number of Thargoid ships have been found crashed or captured but not once did these ships apparently contain a co-opted human. The only time that we're aware of humans having entered Thargoid ships it was other humans attempting it and it didn't go well D2 being a case in point. The Inra site known as The Stack and Salvation's own experiences there in a former life would seem to imply that some form of Thargoid is in fact piloting those things and they are a large powerful insectoid in nature vicious multi limbed creature. So if the missing are important to the next phase of the invasion and they're not piloting ships what does the next phase from a Thargoid perspective look like and what do they need humans for? This video is essentially a news report and I don't want to get too caught up in tin foiling with it but I do think we can draw some logical conclusions from all of this. If we assume for a moment that the logical path FDev are steering the war is very firmly into Odyssey on foot territory then it's my feeling that the implication from these messages is that captured humans are likely going to be turned somehow and used as cannon fodder, pawns or disposable foot soldiers by our new shouty neighbours. If Thargoids themselves are indeed huge multi limbed insects then accessing an Odyssey settlement interior in a conflict zone scenario is going to be problematic. Not impossible but problematic from a development costs and gameplay perspective. It makes a lot more sense to me with my adulting head on that Borg style invaders with some sort of horrific implants growing in or on them for example could be dramatically just as interesting and achievable away from star citizen sized budgets. I've said this before and I'll say it again the Borg in Star Trek did that franchise no harm whatsoever. In fact if you were watching season 2 of the next generation in the 80s a solid argument could be made for them saving it at least in part. 
With all that said I do believe we'll see an on foot Thargoid eventually in one form or another. Someone still has to control these Tharborgs and that thing whatever it is still needs a rocket in the face. As for the very very next thing we'll see Aiden Tanner seems keen that we recover pods from Titan ships. Not so keen that he's going to do it himself but let's step lightly over that. The danger dodging desk jockey is doubtless very busy. He and Tezro talk about getting the tools developed for the job and stipulating the need for a ship to fly dangerously close to a titan in order to perform the extraction if they can find where the pods are being stored. How the extraction location is determined is job number 1. The extraction itself is job number 2. For a job number 1 it could either be an advanced scanner detecting from the exterior or an on foot search of the interior. Personally I'm hoping for the latter but I think the former is probably more likely. For job number 2, the extraction, FDev recently tweaked the behaviour of collector limpets in patch 16.01 to allow them to better handle the collection of objects from the ground. Limpets are not used, traditionally at least, to collect objects from the ground so why would this require dev work? Are collection limpets soon to be tasked with collecting recently ejected human Tharborg filled pods from the bowels of a titan perhaps and they therefore need to be better at operating close to a surface because of that. In all this noise it's easy to forget we still have the Thargoid matrix sites that arrived quietly in update 16. They are presumably there for a specific reason and associated gameplay loops. For now they remain mostly untouched with only Thargoid Revenant drones to guard them and only then when they detect the presence of someone on the surface. Their dark purpose, for the moment at least, remains a complete mystery. Have you heard or read the new logs yet? Just what do you think the Thargoids want with so many humans and how do you think we're going to extract human filled pods from Titan motherships? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.